lovers, it is G-Swiss here and I am here today to do a book haul. Can I just take this time to appreciate and thank everybody who took the time to make me feel so great about my previous book haul. My previous book haul was technically like one of those shameless book hauls where I talk about not being ashamed of having so many books on my TBR and I'm fine with it now. Like I finally came to terms with the fact that I'm fine with having a lot of books on my TBR. I swear, before doing that book haul on my channel, I seriously got a lot of negative comments about me having a huge TBR. And so I decided to do that video talking about how I'm not ashamed to have like all these books on my TBR and I got so many amazing responses so I have to thank every single one of you guys for responding to that video and responding to it very well. I appreciate you guys and I've got a big book haul for those who love big book hauls because welcome to a channel that loves to do big book hauls too. So I personally haven't counted the stack of books that I'm gonna haul today but I have a lot to get through. So without further ado I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna get started with my many comics. I have this stack. Okay the first comic I'm gonna talk about is not a Marvel comic. I definitely have to pre-warn you that the rest of the comics will be Marvel comics. This one is from Image and that is Snot Girl Volume 2, California Screaming. I read the first volume of Snot Girl last year and I enjoyed it. I forgot to mention that this is from Brian Lee O'Malley who is the author of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World and Seconds. I'm personally a huge fan of Seconds. I read the first volume last year and it took ages for them to come out with the second volume. They finally did. I pre-ordered it and I have it now. I'm really excited to get to it and I really love the art style. The art style is so different from Brian Lee O'Malley but I enjoy it. Now let's get on to the Marvel comics. So over here I have volumes 2 and 3 of the Black Panther series. I'm really excited to get to these. I really loved the first volume. I absolutely adore exploring the world of Wakanda. You guys honestly have no idea and I just want to get more into the world of Wakanda within the comics. Next I have the unbelievable Gwenpool volume 1, Believe It. Now I believe that I read a Marvel comic with Gwenpool featured in it and so that's when I decided I need to pick up the series. So I jumped on it and I'm excited to get into this series because Gwenpool's that type of person that breaks the fourth wall but she does it in a clean way as opposed to Deadpool so I'm excited to get to this one. The next comic book series I have to show you is the Mighty Thor series by Jason Aaron with the Mighty Thor being Jane Foster herself. So we have volume one, Thunder in Her Veins, volume two, Lords of Midgard, and finally volume three, the Asgard Shi'ar War. Now I'm really excited to read these because I read the introductory comic when they finally introduced Lady Thor's character and this series is a spin-off to that. I have the first three volumes out of five I think. I think there's only five volumes if not six but there are only going to be that many volumes in the series and I kind of know how this is going to end being that I know a lot about this character and I'm kind of devastated about it but at the same time I'm incredibly excited to read this run. I was very hesitant about it at first but Jason Aaron can do no wrong. And the final Marvel comic book series I have to mention today will be the Miles Morales Spider-Man series. I honestly don't know if any of these have a title. They're all called Miles Morales. They're just Spider-Man, Miles Morales and on the front cover where the title is meant to be it just says Miles Morales. So yeah I've got volumes one to three. Really excited to read the series and get to know Miles even more. I adore Miles Morales guys. The fact that we are going to have a movie with him and the trailer dropped this week as I'm speaking. Oh man, I'm just so, I'm so excited. Not only to have an animated Marvel movie, but to have an animated Marvel movie about the Spider-Verse. I'm in. And now it's about time that we get onto the books. So I'm going to start off with the books that I got sent from publishers. And out of all the books that I got sent from publishers, only one of them was for review. Lol. So first of all, I will show you a book that was sent to me unsolicited from Penguin Random House Australia. And that one is The Strange Fascinations of Noah Hypnotic by David Arnold. I had read Mosquito Land by David Arnold and I loved that one. So I'm really excited to get to this one and I really liked the synopsis for it as well. I still have the press release in it. Oh man, I'm so good at this. And all the next books that were sent to me by publishers were sent to me by one publisher and that was Bloomsbury Australia. So thank you so much Bloomsbury Australia for being so generous to me within these past couple of months. The first one I have to mention is an arc of All of This Is True by Liga Day Penaflor. And I really like this arc because you can do this. You can or you can't trust me. Something like that. And on this side, I don't know if you can see it, it says tell me everything. I honestly really like the design of this arc. But guess what? I didn't read it before it came out and I should have read it before it came out. Everyone is talking about it. Really excited to actually get to this one. Apparently it has a very cool premise to do with like YA fiction and writing YA fiction. I'm sold. I'm in. I'm excited to read this. Now when I said that Bloomsbury were being generous to me this month, I wasn't lying. They sent me the repackaged editions of AC Gorgon's Scarlet Trilogy, I think. So the first book being Scarlet, the second book being Lady Thief, and the third book being Lionheart. I'm really excited to get to these. I haven't even read Rain the Earth yet, and I need to get to that one as well. I got sent that one in a YA Chronicle subscription box, and I'm absolutely fascinated in how beautiful these covers are. I'm so happy to add this trilogy onto my shelf. Really excited to read them. Thank you so much, Bloomsbury. And the final thing that I definitely 
definitely have to thank Bloomsbury for today will be the UK paperback of A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J Maas. This one is so pretty. My goodness. This was the one book I got sent for review out of the stack. And guess what? I did a ramble about it on my channel. Not a rant, not a review, just a ramble, like a, a literal ramble. I was just saying random things about this book that is spoiler free. So if you want to go check that out and want to hear my thoughts and opinions on it and also watch our Biblio Squad live show where you can hear my spoiler thoughts on it, then both of them are linked down below. Once again, thank you Bloomsbury for sending this my way and being that I'm also Sarah J Maas trash, I also had to get the hardback to add to my collection. And I purchased this hardback through the YA Chronicle subscription service. They always do sequel boxes. So if you want to go check them out, check them out. They're really awesome. Next book I will be hauling today will be the one poetry slash poetic book that I purchased recently and that was Heart Talk by Cleo Wade. There was so much hype from the publishers in this book and so I just decided to pick it up. And I found it for so cheap one day and so I decided to pick it up and give it a shot because I just need more modern poetry because it gets me by. It gets me by. This next book is a classic and one of my friends who was in the YouTube community, his name is Carlos. I'll link his channel below so you can check him out. This book is his favorite book. And I finally bought it, finally made it a priority to purchase this book. And that, my friends, is The Little Prince. Yes, I have The Little Prince in this very gorgeous edition. I mean, it shouldn't be hard for me to read. It's only 100 pages. And I personally definitely want to know why it is Carlos's favorite book. So I absolutely, most definitely want to give it a shot. So Carlos, I have the book now. You happy? And the next book I bought recently is Cersei by Madeline Miller, who is the author of The Son of Achilles. I th no, The Song of Achilles. Man, I'm really bad at this. And I was so inclined to buy this. Most because of its cover because th this cover is not only glorious apparently this is only limited to UK first editions but under the dust jacket has this design look at how beautiful that is gorgeous I had to jump on it as soon as they announced that I had to jump on it and also apparently it has to do with Greek mythology not too sure hopefully it does I, I, I feel like it does and it has to do with a Greek mythology figure named Cersei I don't know too much about it but I've been hearing a lot of my friends rave about this book so I just need to jump on it and I need to read it I mean it has a beautiful cover and it has a very interesting synopsis what's not to love and the next book I have to hold today I received for free at teen con and that is Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian I know nothing about this except for the fact that this cover kind of looks like it's glass sword but with completely different details on the crown. That's the first thing that I thought when I saw this cover. So yeah, I think of glass sword but an ashy crown instead. So I guess I've heard a lot of hype about this book and I got given it for free so that's cool. And the next book I bought this month was Avengers Infinity War The Cosmic Quest Volume 1 The Beginning by Brandon Snyder. I have read this book and I enjoyed it. It wasn't the greatest thing ever but it's a book about Avengers Infinity War so like I was up for it. I love how this cover and I are matching today except I have the stones and it doesn't. I mean I could be merciful and snap my fingers right now as Thanos would say but you know what I'm, I'm probably not gonna do that you know why because I want more people showing up to my birthday that's where all the Infinity War memes have consumed me another Marvel related book that I have in this stack would be Black Panther The Young Prince by Ronald L. Smith when I heard that this was going to be a thing I immediately had to buy it I mean I didn't buy it straight away but like I knew it was gonna be a thing ages ago but then I think once I was reminded that it was a thing and I never saw it in Australian bookstores so I actually had to buy it from the book depository because I never sold in Australian bookstores and I was wondering where it had gone. So I guess the reason why I waited to purchase this was because I was waiting for it to appear in a bookstore and it never did. So I just bought it online instead and it's here. It's beautiful. I'm excited to read about young T'Challa. The next five books I'm going to show you were secondhand books that I bought for a dollar each. So first of all, I have a library edition of The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. I know nothing about this except I think, no, it has to do with vampires. Okay, the reason why I picked up a vampire novel up is because Holly Black wrote it. Let's be real. And I'm very interested to see what I think about it. Next second hand book I have to show you is The First Bad Man, a novel by Miranda July. Now I know nothing about this and the cover doesn't show me anything about this. It's just very plain, but it was very striking to me. And I had always seen it on Dimmick staff recommendation shelves. So I decided to pick it up for a dollar because giving away a dollar wouldn't hurt. And the next second hand book I have to show you is I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh. And all I know about this is that it's a mystery thriller from a highly acclaimed author. So. Yep, yep, that's that's pretty much it. And the next book I bought for a dollar was Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. I bought this one for a reason. I bought this one because everybody talks about it and they love it. And so I needed to jump on that. I have little fires everywhere on my shelf as well. I also have to get on to reading Celeste Ng's books because everybody just talks about them and they love them. And so I want to love them as well. And so I bought one of her books for a dollar. And the last secondhand book I picked up was a hardback. And that was Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers. I'm just absolutely beyond amazed at the fact that I was able to purchase this. 
for a dollar. That's awesome. Apparently this book has to do with an assassin school for nuns. Sign me off. The next three books I have to show you were for 40% off from my workplace and so I decided I'm gonna take the risk. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. And that is a shrink wrapped three pack of the first three books in the Elite Guardian series by Lynette Eason. The first one being Always Watching, the second one being Without Moving, and the third one being Moving Target. I think that there's one more book in the series. I have the first three and I got them for super cheap. I decided to jump on that because it was a bargain. My TBR is being bombarded with bargains. I think that my workplace was having a big sale. I needed to jump on these as well. So the first three out of the four hardbacks that I just showed you are the Unblemished Trilogy by Sarah Ella. The first being Unblemished, the second one being Unraveling, and the third one being Unbreakable. The reason why I picked these up is not really just because of the covers, because the covers are pretty. I'm not really the biggest fan of this one. The series just got even more beautiful with the next couple of covers. The reason why I purchased these is because Sarah Ella is apparently a booktuber, and I've seen a couple of people talk about this trilogy on their booktube channels and mention that Sarah Ella is a booktuber, and so I decided to support my local booktubers and my local booktubers lol. What I was meant to say is support the booktube community, so I decided to pick her trilogy up and give it a shot, especially because I got them for cheap. And the final book I purchased during that sale was Reclaiming Shiloh Snow by Mary Webber. This is the second book in her new duology. I read the Storm Siren trilogy ages ago. I really wanted to give this one a shot because it has to do with like a virtual game reality world, and I was just like, you know what? Sign me up. I'm always like, sign me up, but you know what? I was like, sign me up even more with this one. So of course I have to go ahead and purchase another trilogy. I purchased this one. That is right. I purchased the Lara Jean trilogy. I have no shame about this whatsoever because all of these books were super cheap. I was going to just purchase this one. This one was the most expensive out of the bunch, but this one was 10% off. And then the other two were just like $10 each anyway. And I just figured I may as well just buy the full trilogy in case the price increases because I purchased these online because I couldn't find them in Australian bookstores whatsoever. So I purchased them online. And the second two books in the trilogy were only $10 each. This one was $12. So here they are in all of their glory. So the first one being To All the Boys I Loved Before. The second one being P.S. I Still Love You and the third one being Always and Forever Lara Jean. I thought that I originally wanted the U.S. hardbacks but they're double the price of what I would have paid for these ones. I absolutely adore the colors and the spines so it's a great addition to my bookshelf as well as just a great addition to my TBR. The next two books I have to mention in this haul today are Rick Riordan books and those are The Burning Maze and Demigods and Magicians. So this one is the third book in the Trials of Apollo series and this one is a novella collection that I've wanted for the longest time and I never bought for some reason but then I had a voucher one day and I decided I was gonna jump on it. So I've read this one and I haven't read this one. I'm really excited to read this one now that I have it. It came out years ago now. Seriously, I should have bought it years ago so I could have read it years ago but I never ended up doing that. So shame on you G-Swizz, but I'm gonna do it now that I have it. So there's no excuse now. And the next recent book I purchased in this haul, it wasn't really like a recent purchase. I pre-ordered this ages ago, but it finally came and that is The Fates Divide by Veronica Roth. I'm happy that I finally have the sequel so I can finish this series off. This book came out two months ago now and I still haven't finished the series. <laughs> wow, G-Swiz. Next two books I have to mention in the stack today are by the same author, and that is by Victoria Avard. I got the UK special edition of Red Queen, and I finally have Warstorm, which I haven't read either. I'm really bad with these sequels. I think it's because they're just so chunky, and I just need to dedicate my time to them, and also dedicate my emotion to them. I need to make sure that I'm in a good emotional place before going into these books. Fortunately, Victoria Avard was not in Sydney when Glass Sword came out, so I literally received this book weeks after her coming here. But being that she was here weeks ago, I have every other book signed by her, including this one, Sister Grace. Yes, that's right, guys. I got to meet her, and as she was signing my books, we talked about Infinity War, because the day I got to meet her was the day after Infinity War dropped, and she watched it on the Australian release day as well, so she got to see it early as well. It was the coolest thing. We were just gushing about it. We were trying not to spoil it for everybody else, like, in the queue. It was the funniest thing. We had a great conversation. It was good. Yeah, you've only got a few books left. So the next book I have to hold today is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell in the paperback edition. I mean, like, I had a paperback edition, but the US paperback edition. This is gorgeous, guys. Look at that. It is, it is beautiful. It's literally fan art of Simon and Baz. I haven't read this book yet and I need to read this book, but I really wanted this cover, not only just because its cover is beautiful, but because I wanted a proper map of Watford. I literally finally have a proper map of Watford and I'm so happy. And it also says here, you were the sun and I was crashing into you. Absolutely everything about this paperback is stunning and I heard that there's going to be a second book in the series, which is crazy, but that means that I have to wait for the paperback to come out in this edition as well. Hello darkness, my old friend. 
why? But I'm really excited to read this one. I've heard really mixed opinions about this one, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. And the last book I'm gonna hold before I mention the two books that I received in subscription boxes is going to be Lifelike by Jay Kristoff. I have this one signed. I'm currently reading it. It is great. My baby sister is screaming in the background. This is our Biblio Squad book pick of the month for June. And our live show to discuss this book will be on the 7th of July, 8 p.m. EST in the US and the 8th of July, 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time. If you are joining us in Australia, it's gonna be a fun time. We're gonna discuss it. I love our Biblio Squad live shows. I honestly think it's going to be great. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the final two books I have to hold today. The first one being the April book of the month for the YA Chronicles and that is Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. I literally know nothing about this book except for the fact that my friend loves it. The friend I'm talking about is my friend who co-runs the YA Chronicles and I think that that was a big reason why they put it in the box. So I'm really excited to see what I think about this book myself. The final book slash books that I received for the month of May in May bookish subscription boxes including the YA Chronicles and the Never Never Book Box. If you subscribe to those subscription services yourself and if you don't want to get spoiled for the book of the month I would suggest you leave right now. The book pick of the month of May for both of them was Whispered by Lynette Noni. Yes that's right I received two copies of this. Both of them kind of signed. I mean one has a book plate one is directly signed I think and honestly I think it's really cool that both subscription services took their month to highlight an Australian author. I find it awesome really so I'm really excited to get to this one myself. It was pitched as Stranger Things meets Divergent. This book is also available in the US as well. It has a completely different cover though. So yes very interested to see what I think about this one. So I guess we made it at the end of the haul. If you want to purchase any of the books that I mentioned in this video today book lovers purchase links for every single one of them at least I'll try to unless of course they don't sell it on the book depository will be down in the description so you can check them out you can purchase them you can help me out by doing so it would be amazing because it would have taken a lot of time to link every single one of the books just saying and you can also follow me my social medias I'm at Books on Twitter and Instagram and I'm also Goodreads that's www.goodreads.com slash I love you book lovers and I will see you later peace